From Hollywood, it's Mike Douglas, People Now. Now, here's Mike. Thank you very much. Good evening. It's nice to have a friend at your side on a show like this. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel like I'm... And I know you're a self-starter. <laughs> That's true. My first guest, <laughs> as the man pointed out, has won... She's, you're in the Guinness Book of Records yeah. for having won uh, the Oscar, the Tony, the Emmy. And two Emmys and a Grammy. Two Emmys and a mm -hmm. Grammy? And oh, who's counting? The Emmys are for what? The Emmys are for... The first one was for um, uh, The Muppet Show, and the second one was for The Rockford Files. And, of course, West Side Story is your Oscar. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what other ones did I mean? Well, let's see. The, the Tony, Tony was, was for the Ritz on Broadway. The Ritz. And the Grammy was for the Electric Company album. Yeah. Where do you get your energy? Is it that Latin blood that does it? I don't think that has a whole lot to do with it. Some of the uh, most energyless people I've ever met are, are Latins and blacks and all the ones that are supposed to, you know, just going all the time. I think it's sort of a genetic thing. Yeah. You either have it or you don't. I got to tell you, talk about your show, because uh, your show 9 to 5 last week received negative reviews. It was uncharacteristically uh, exploitive. You want to mm -hmm. comment on that? Well, first of all, uh, despite the reviews, we got fabulous ratings. That's all that counts. <laughs> yeah. Where were you in the ratings? Uh, top, well, top let's 10, see. Let's 40. start with your hometown. It was 40... 40. In Chicago? Chicago. Why thought your hometown was Philly? No, I'm Chicago. Oh, Chicago was 38. But Philly's 40. The East was 35. It's fabulous well, ratings. That's great. Yeah. Then I'm you're very home pleased free, about yeah. that. The su talk about the subject matter because mm -hmm. when I say exploitive, that uh, was unlike anything that I, I would think Jane Fonda would have been involved in. Why is that? Well, the negligees. Let me interview the you. Ne the negligees and all that. Stuff. It was yeah. a show. First of all, you can't just go on the air like this and say negligees. <laughs> Uh, we have to talk about the show. Wait, I'll take that back. That show dealt with uh, one of the characters, Violet Newstead, my character, who is trying to make some money on the side because she just ain't making enough trying to uh, support two children. She's a widow. Story of a lot of people's lives. Exactly. Right? That's yeah. one of the reasons I think the show is so terrific. So in order to do that, she moonlights by um, trying to sell jewelry on the side. You know, <laughs> there's that hilarious line about uh, Violet, you look like Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> And that doesn't work, so a friend of hers, a friend of Violet Newstead, says, I have just the thing. She says, why don't you have a lover wear party at your apartment? And uh, <clears throat> it's a very common thing right now. The script was based on a very real happening, and in fact, it happened to the woman who wrote it. She uh, had a party where she sold sexy underwear, lingerie and that kind of stuff to women in her office. Uh, the reason we ended up wearing several of those items is that the network desperately, ABC, really desperately needed some kind of little promotional clips to show the audience to try to entice them to come see, you know, uh, tune in and see the think, show. What did you think, Rita, when you saw the script? Did you question it at all? I knew exactly what they were doing. Did you? Of course. Sure, you the know. network needs to entice people to come see it. Meanwhile, even though at near the end of the show we wore three of these 90s, the important thing is, ultimately, which is what the show is about and will be about more and more as it develops and hopefully gains popularity, is the plight of the working person, yeah. which is what that show was really about. I've always had the impression, because you have... Well, you're very... You're, I love people who take chances, and you have taken a lot of chances. I mean, you've run the gamut, Broadway, clubs, television, pictures. You've done it all. I've done everything but juggle, and I'm working on that. <laughs> you juggle a lot Never of schedules, know. though. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of this weekly grind? This ser I hear people, I'm talking to people all the time who do uh, series television. And do they, they roll their eyes They talk up about 16-hour, 14-hour days. This is not kid. This is... This is work. It's very hard work. I've never been happier in my life. You love it. Well, first of all, one of the reasons I, I adored the idea of doing a series was that it keeps me home here there in California go. with my family. Yeah, and you're happily and, uh, married. The Nike, we're, well, we'll be married 18 years in June. Isn't that's that no chopped liver there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the nightclub act, of course, perforce sends me out of town all the yeah. time because there are no real nightclubs here in L.A. And uh, that's 
number one. Number two, I have all weekend to be with my family in addition to uh, having dinner with them at night. I come home and cook dinner. Isn't that nice? My husband does it sometimes. You come I home after sometimes. having worked all day long and cook dinner for the kids? Some, yeah. Uh, oh, that's oh, I great. would say three times, three days out of the that's five. Great. And my husband does it the rest of the time. And um, I have dinner with them. I'm with them. I interact with them. In addition, the, the glory of doing a, a television series is that if it works, you have the best of all possible careers, I my guess. goodness. Now, just think, if 9 to 5 makes it, and it's looking pretty good, uh, on hiatus, at hiatus time, I can do my one-woman show in theaters if I want to. I can do my nightclub act with symphonies around the country if I want to. I can do theater theater on Broadway on best a limited run basis. Worlds. That's I think Judd Hirsch has one of the best careers in the world because he does sure. all of those things. He runs off to New York and does his thing when he's not doing it. Oh, I have no complaints. Yeah. I'm lighting all kinds of coochie fritos hoping it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to continue with Rita Moreno right after this. Be right back.